uh, from Moira who wants to ask this herself. So I'll let Moira ask this. Hi, Helen. It's Moira McDermott. <laughs> so glad to, to see you. you. Um, uh, when you were talking about, um, you know, things that you wish you'd had done more of when you were, you know, in academia, Mm -hmm. or before academia, you were talking about programming and, you know, you talked about learning general principles, but I'm curious as far as, you know, specific languages, um, what do you find most useful now? And is it different from what you would want to learn with? You know, like, what would you tell people if they wanted to, you know, learn some programming, what's the most useful thing to learn? Yeah, that's a great question. So, um, for example, when we're hiring, it could be any. In my company, it could be any kind of program. And a lot of companies are that way. Um, some really want some specifics, so I can give you that. But Python is a very um, important language these days in our industry. MATLAB is a platform that a lot of the companies in drug development use. So learning, having a lot of experience with MATLAB goes a long way because of the companies that really want that specific training in addition to the ones like ours where we're happy to have any kind of training. Um, and so R is another one that's used in the industry, especially dealing with statistical uh, modeling. So we use machine learning sometimes and that's a great tool to, uh, to base some of that work on. So um, there are some C, C plus work being done, but I think if you go in with um, Python or Julia or um, especially MATLAB. Those are gonna be seen as very valuable in R. Um, and you could learn some of the proprietary software. I don't see a need. Really, the, the pieces like in MATLAB, there's a symbiology component that a lot of the companies are using also. You don't have to have had experience with that. Some of the universities don't have licenses for symbiology, but you could get a trial license or a student or a limited version license to try to learn your way around it at least or do some of the, watch some of the uh, videos that are available for learning that. But those are the great ones. Those are the really uh, main ones we use. Aside from the 